When Perry Clark accepted the head coaching job at Tulane in 1988, he knew that rebuilding a basketball program that was returning from a four-year self-imposed death penalty would not be easy. So at his first practice, Perry shook his head and smiled when there weren't enough basketballs to practice. And while the obstacles would become much greater, so would Clark's ability to overcome them. After a first season of playing almost all freshmen, Tulane made an 11-game improvement in year two under Clark when he introduced the Posse, which became a basketball phenomena. About five minutes into the game, Perry would substitute four or five new players coming off the bench with a high energy and intensity. Players and fans loved it. The national press adopted it and the New Start Green Wave became an overnight delight. In year three, Tulane was the story again, stunning the nation with a season-opening 13-game win streak, including a most memorable Perry Clark career moment. In the ninth game of that streak, on January 4, 1992, Tulane made a program statement, going to Louisville and winning in Freedom Hall for the first time in program history, a win that earned respect around the nation and put Tulane in the national polls for the first time since the 1950s. The Wave went on to win the Metro Conference regular season championship, the first conference championship in the history of Tulane basketball. And that would lead to another first. Tulane was in March Madness for the first time ever. The first round of the playoffs saw Tulane ranked as high as 13th in the polls that season, going to Atlanta, Georgia, where the Wave knocked off 7th seeded St. John 61-57, before falling to 2nd seeded Oklahoma State in the second round. Clark won the Henry Iba Award as the National Coach of the Year. Over the next three seasons, the Wave would make two more appearances in March Madness, each time winning in the first round. In 93, Tulane toppled six-seeded Kansas State in the first round before meeting third-seeded Florida State in the second. And in 95, the Green Wave beat BYU before falling to top-seeded Kentucky. There were four trips to the National Invitational Tournament, including the most memorable 1996 trip to the Final Four at Madison Square Garden in New York. Tulane lost to Nebraska in the semis, then beat Alabama for an overall third place finish. How good was Perry Clark at Tulane? In the history of Tulane basketball, only three times did a team win 20 or more. You had to go back to 1948-49 to find the last one. Between 1992 and 2000, Clark doubled that, coaching Tulane to six 20-win seasons. Before Clark, no coach in the history of Tulane basketball earned an NCAA bid. Perry did it three times. Overall, in 11 seasons from 1989 to 2000, Perry Clark compiled a 185-145 record to make him the second winningest coach in program history. There were the seven postseason appearances, there was a Metro Conference Championship in 1992, plus the National Coach of the Year Award to go with it. And Perry was a two-time Metro Conference Coach of the Year. Clark recruited and coached some good ones, 12 all-conference selections, including six first-team choices. From 1990 to 92, Anthony Reed, Kim Lewis, and Pointer Williams claimed consecutive Metro Conference Freshman of the Year honors. Reed and Gerald Honeycutt were NBA draft picks. And Clark's coaching tree is huge with Greg Gary, Carlin Hartman, Kim Lewis, and so many more. Clark said Tulane President Dr. Eamon Kelly, the administration, faculty, and staff were instrumental in the program's success. Perry Clark said it was like Camelot. Green Wave Nation would agree. Welcome to the All-State Sugar Bowl's Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame, Class of 2020. Tulane basketball coaching great, Perry Clark.